Okay, everybody. So I'm going to make another one of my short how-to videos um, just in case people are absent and they don't hear in class or they didn't understand in class. Um, the only physical assignments that I see myself assigning this year are vocabulary terms, which I'm a big fan of. Um, so to do vocabulary terms, I'm going to ask everybody to go out and invest in index cards that look just like this. Uh, there's a standard size, it's blank on one side and it's lined on the other. And on the due dates, well, I'm gonna hand, I'm, I'm gonna post, when I post a vocabulary assignment, I post a list of terms of which you're free to go to, you know, any resources you could find on the internet to find a definition, as well as our e-textbook that you have via the student portal to find the definitions of these terms. But, you know, there's some expectations, there's some rules. Remember, this is Cambridge. And so I expect Cambridge quality work. So the first thing you need to do, you're gonna get yourself, buy yourself a stack of index cards. These are gonna come of use, they're gonna be of use to you. You're gonna end up creating quite a few of them before the end of the school year. Or you could actually buy one of these booklets, okay? Put it in the camera so I can zoom. As you can see, it keeps everything nice and neat and together. And well, you have you have the vocabulary cards right here. You have the line side and you have the blank side. And that way you're not dealing with loose cards. Um, you're just dealing with um, these, these little notebooks, if you will, of index cards. And whenever you're done, you just discard them. So if you're gonna, either way, you know, one side is, is blank, the other side has lines. So I'm gonna show you an example. On the blank side, put this so everybody sees it. Um, in the corner, you're gonna put the number of the term. There's 24 terms this time, but there'll be other numbers later. Now you put the number of the term and then the actual term in the middle. And on the first card alone, please let on the first card alone, just in case it gets misplaced, I want you to put your first and last name and the period that you're in. Now, I only want you to do this part on the first card in your stack. Every card after that, the only thing you need is the actual term and let's get this right, and the number of the term. On the other side, I want the definition. Again, I have Cambridge expectations of Cambridge work. Your definition should be thorough, at least two complete sentences. Thorough definitions contribute to a thorough understanding of what the term is supposed to mean. So this is a pretty simple how-to on how to do vocabulary for Mr. Hernandez. It's on index cards. One side should look like this. The other side should look like this. You could do it on loose index cards or you could do it on one of these index card notebooks. I will not accept slips of paper passing themselves off as index cards. Your thoroughness will determine the grade you get. How many of the terms will determine the grade you get. And this is a pretty simple assignment. If you do it, it's an easy A. And towards the end of the year, you have this collection of shoebox. If you, I don't want you to get rid of them. I want you to save them. Start collecting them. So you, you're going to have this collection of, of um, index cards. They're going to serve as a study guide just before the Cambridge exam. So that is a how-to vocabulary, Mr. Hernandez's Cambridge class. Pretty simple. If you still have any questions, please send me a message.